eight types of agile methodologies. Now let's talk about the types of agile methodologies that there are. So there are various agile methodologies. The particularity with these methodologies is that they respect the four values and 12 principles of the agile manifesto. So here are some of the most common agile methodologies of frameworks. Framework number one, Kanban. So the word Kanban, which is derived from the Japanese language, is translated as visual board or sign board and is associated with the idea of just in time. So initially established as a lean manufacturing method, the Kanban idea gradually made its way to the agile software development teams. So this approach develops and manages projects using visual, visual approaches. So Kanban is a simple visual means of managing projects that enables teams to see the progress so far and what's coming up next. Kanban projects are primarily managed through a Kanban board, which segments tasks into three columns. We have the to-do column, the in-progress column, and the closed or finished column. So the Kanban board is divided into these three columns to illustrate the process flow of software development. The Kanban board also helps to increase the agile team visibility since they can track the progress through each stage of development and plan for forthcoming activities activities to deliver the product just in time. So Kanban necessitates extensive interaction and transparency in order for the agile team members to be equipped with the appropriate stage of development at any moment and to have a continuous flow of work. Framework number two, Scrum. Agile Scrum is one of the most popular agile methodologies nowadays, characterized by various cycles of development. In many aspects, Scrum and Kanban are comparable. Scrum typically uses a Scrum board, similar to Kanban board, and groups tasks into columns based on progress. Scrum divides the development processes into units known as sprints, much like Kanban. Scrum concentrates on segmenting projects into sprints and only planning and controlling one sprint at a time, in contrast to what Kanban does, as I explained just right now. So by maximizing and dedicating time for each sprint's development, just one sprint is managed at a time. So the continuous delivery that Scrum and Agile methodologies emphasize on allow developers to change priorities such that any unfinished or delayed sprints may receive more attention. So the daily Scrum meeting is where the activities are coordinated to come up with the best strategy to carry out the sprint. And the Scrum team is made up of unique project roles such as the Scrum Master role and the Product Owner role. Framework number three, extreme programming. So extreme programming was designed for agile software development projects and extreme programming methodology places a strong emphasis on collaboration, teamwork, communication, and feedback. It focuses on continuous development and customer satisfaction. So just like with the Scrum methodology, extreme programming approach uses sprints and shorter development cycles. And it helps the Agile team create a highly efficient and productive environment. So extreme programming is also very helpful in cases of varying and changing customer expectations or needs. It also encourages the developer to accept changes to the customer's requirements, even if they appear during an advanced stage of the programming process. So in extreme programming, the project is evaluated from the beginning by gathering feedback that would be necessary for achieving the expected project outcome. You can also add that additionally, it offers a quick way to execute any client requirement. So extreme programming also includes 12 supporting processes specific to the field of software development. Here are these 12 processes. Planning game, small releases, customer acceptance tests, simple design, testing, test-driven development, pair programming, refactoring, continuous integration, collective code ownership, coding standards, metaphor, maintainable speed. Framework number four, Crystal. So Crystal is a family of agile methodologies that includes 
crystal clear, crystal yellow, crystal orange, crystal red, etc., etc. It has a unique structure that distinguishes it from the other based on variables including system critica criticality, team size, and project priorities. So as I said, your choice about these crystal methodologies depends basically on several project factors, such as your team size, your priorities, and the project criticality. So the kind of crystal agile approach must be chosen according to the projects or systems criticality, such as comfort, essential money, discretionary money, and life. So crystal methodologies were first introduced by Alistair Cockburn, who, who is one of the significant individuals in the creation of the Agile Manifesto for software development. This Agile methodology targets timely product delivery, regularity, reduced administration with higher interaction and customer satisfaction, just as other Agile approaches. So the Crystal family, which has earned the title of the most lightweight ways of Agile methodology, promotes the idea that each system or project is unique and requires the use of various practices, processes, and policies to obtain the greatest outcomes. Framework number five, feature-driven development. So feature-driven development is another agile approach that is specific to the field of software development. FDD is an iterative, customer-centric, and incremental agile method which incorporates several industry-recognized best practices. And its primary goal is to consistently produce working software in a timely manner. Also, according to feature-driven development, software models must be produced every two weeks and every aspect of the models must have a development and a design strategy. It is better suited for teams with extensive design and planning skills since it has more stringent documentation requirements than other agile methodologies like extreme programming, for example. So feature-driven development divides projects into five fundamental activities, which are developing an overarching model of the project, creating feature lists, planning by feature, designing by feature, and finally building by feature. So by using this five-step process, large project teams will be able to move their products forward at a steady pace. Framework number six, dynamic systems development method. So the dynamic systems development model was born of the need for a common industry framework for rapid software delivery. So using the DSDM framework, the whole software development process can be planned, carried out, managed, and scaled. So just like Scrum, extreme programming, feature-driven, and any other Agile methodologies, DSDM uses sprints. So the DSDM framework also believes that quality and on-time delivery must never be compromised. So project adjustments are always to be expected and that any development changes that occur must be reversible. This belief is based on a business-driven methodology and eight principles which are focus on the business need, deliver on time, collaborate, never compromise quality, build incrementally from firm foundations, develop iteratively, communicate continuously and clearly, and demonstrate control. Framework number seven, lean. So lean development is often grouped with Agile, but it is an entirely different methodology that happens to share many of the same values. Lean methodology is based on seven principles that we are going to have a look at right now. Eliminating waste. So deleting what does not matter, meaning that anything that does not add value is removed from the project. Quality development. It talks of the fact that keeping and controlling the number of residuals created are essential to build quality. Create knowledge. The team must be motivated to document the entire infrastructure to preserve its value in the future. Defer commitments. This point encourages the team to focus less on planning and anticipating ideas without first having a prior and complete grasp of the business needs. Deliver fast. This principle talks about providing value to the customer as quickly as possible through rapid delivery. Respect the team. So establishing good communication and conflict management are key ways to show respect to the team. Optimize the whole development. 
So to create a flow of true value, the development sequence must be perfected, must be perfected enough to remove errors from the code. So using this lean methodology, development time and resources are optimized and this method is easily scalable and adaptable to projects of any size. Framework number eight, Scaled Agile Framework, SAFE. So the Scaled Agile Framework is a set of organizational and workflow principles for applying Agile methods at an enterprise scale. So by using SAFE, you may benefit from a framework that is comparatively lightweight while preserving the centralized decision-making necessary at the corporate level for software development efficiency. So in other words, SAFE extends the Agile principle to software executives who are entrusted with dealing with larger strategic concerns. So among these several types of Agile methodology, selecting the best one requires a flexible strategy. Most times, companies combine several of these Agile methodologies to fit their specific project needs. So this, this means in the same project, you can apply principles from various methodologies like Scrum, Extreme Programming, Kanban, etc., etc., and so on and so forth. 